Dear directors, professors, guests, and colleagues, I got to confess something. I fell in love with economics the same way I fell in love with women. <laughs> Suddenly, inexplicably, and critically, giving no thought to the tremendous pain and the enormous pleasures it would bring with it. <laughs> and I am sure that all of you, dear colleagues, had the same feeling at some point in your life, and this is why you decided to come here and pursue a career in development or in academia or in policy making or in finance or in regulation or in innovation. We arrived to Barcelona 10 months ago looking for knowledge, for new experiences, for good times, for surprising loves, for endless nights. And this is just what, we'd have, what we have found, a deeper life, a year full of effort and hard work, but also a year full of fun and excitement. So you will have to forgive us if today we are a little melancholic. Melancholy is, is not a bad thing. It is just the joy of being sad. You can only feel that way when you can look back to the previous months or years with a smile on your face. We have shared 600 hours of classes, around 25 problem sets, more or less 10 exams, a handful of presentations, writing a master thesis and defending such project in front of the GSC faculty. And after all that, we are still smiling when we look back? <laughs> there is one possible explanation for this strange phenomenon. Yes, we are completely nuts. <laughs> Even I am smiling, and I am a Real Madrid supporter. So imagine how hard this year has been for me. This is the ultimate proof, QED, quod erat demonstrandum, a little of Latin, which is all right, I think. But come on, let's be honest here. We don't have to be ashamed for being absolutely crazy. We are just a good kind of mad people. We have chosen to commit our talent and our effort not to make people click on banners on a web page, but to change the world through economics, regulation, policy making, etc. And yes, after a year here, we are more prepared to achieve these big goals that we all have in our mind. Okay. I'm so I know that some of you may think, what are you talking about? Big goals? I still, I still wake up in the middle of the night listening to Professor Kurt Smithheny's voice saying that the OLS estimator of beta is X prime X inverse X prime Y. So. Can you please tell me how is that or anything of that matter going to help me to change the world? And okay, I think that we all can agree on how important econometrics is for us economists, but this is not the point. What I think is important is that through every new concept or lecture or problem set or exam, we have become wiser, bigger, and stronger. Dear colleagues, we can feel very proud of ourselves. We have done what is hard. We are ready to achieve what is great. Knowing that we are not going to see our teachers here anymore is another reason for joy and happiness, excuse me, for, <clears throat> for melancholy, I am sorry. Now, th this is true, this is true. We are in debt with all those professors who had contributed to our personal growth. We would like to thank especially all those teachers who at certain point have set lectures and, book and books away apart from us and they have come near to approach us not, not just like professors with some knowledge to transmit, but as colleagues and masters with experiences and ideas to share. So our gratitude will be always with all those teachers whose office doors were open far beyond the office hours. We will always be able to find a formula in a book. What we have lived, felt, and shared with you will be always be with us. But come on, let's just stop saying only nice things here. You have made us work hard. You have made us sweat. You have made us solve all kinds of ugly problems. And yes, we have learned a lot. That's true. But, you know, there are some methodological issues that we don't understand that we would like to discuss. 
I will try to show them according to the approach originally exposed in his 2011 paper by the biggest moaner, Mr. Jose Mourinho. Why, or according to literature, por qué all those problem sets? Why, or again, por qué so many questions, hard questions in the exams? I don't understand. I don't understand. Por qué so many papers to read? Por qué two or three hours lectures without having a break? Por qué? Por qué? And, 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 and Milton Friedman, as it usually happens in economics, has the answer to those questions. A disciple of him went, went once to his office and told him that he was exhausted, that he was not going to be able to finish his PhD. Friedman looked at him and told him, OK, don't worry. I understand. Learning is an, ag an agonic process. So yes, you can go home or you can go to the cinema, whatever you want, but tomorrow morning I want to see you here at 7 a.m. You understand what I mean? And of course the guy was there on the next morning. And this, as this guy, we have experienced moments of doubt and weaknesses here, but day after day, we woke up and went to class or to the library, fighting for what we wanted to achieve, knowing that without sacrifice, there is no possible reward. Okay, it is true, we may not be there at 7 a.m., it may be half past seven or eight or, well, depending, eight, half past eight, nine, uh, before 11, before 11 for sure, we were there, yeah, most of the times. Uh, all those big efforts would not have been possible without you guys, without the colleagues and friends that we have found at the GSC. I have just said that we can feel proud of ourselves. Well, I think that we can also feel proud of each other. We have been like blood brothers. We have shared libraries, class notes, ideas, small disappointments, big dreams yet to come. And we have shared overall laughs, nights, loves, beer pong matches, walks around the city, skips to the beach, hours and hours and hours of conversations and confidences. I think that if we were all asked to summarize this year in a couple of words, we would just say our names, the names of the friends that we have all made here. And even if we don't live in Barcelona anymore, we will, be always, we will be always able to look back and think with a smile on our face of the family that each of us has found and has built here. It would not be fair to forget about our other family, our parents and our brothers and our sisters and our friends in our hometowns. If we are happy for ourselves, imagine how they feel about it. The only thing that we, want, that we would like to tell them is thank you and please, don't forget that you are the main responsible of what we are and for how proud you have felt when you have listened our name and you have seen us picking our diplomas. Finally, we would like to thank the GSC staff and the school as a whole for all this year, for the support, the organization, and the possibilities they have provided us with. Thanks also to the city of Barcelona and some of its citizens who a couple of weeks ago were kind enough to organize a concentration in the park by the university just to wish us good luck for the exams. <laughs> Thank you for that. We really appreciate. <laughs> However, after all these experiences and knowledge, we believe that there are still some questions which answers may be, as Bob Dylan once said, blowing in the wind. Why we? economics master students are so nerd, geek, and freak? I don't know. What about the rumor about finance guys? Is it true that the only thing that you want is become filthy rich and create economic crisis around the world? <laughs> what about ITFD? Is it true that the students at, at ITFD are all day partying and that even during classes they take notes drinking mojitos? Do regulation students study only, only game theory in all its different ways? <laughs> Do macroeconomic policy students really exist?
Why are they hidden in Bella Terra? Is anybody doing scientific experiments with them? And what about the Master in Economics of Science and Innovation students? What about the people of that MESI program that... Wait a moment. M -E Messi program? Are you kidding me? What is this? Oh, what not Xavi program or Iniesta program? If we are going to create new programs, as we have already said, I propose one. The program in economics, development, research, and international trade operations. The Pedrito program. <laughs> and the last and probably most important question. Have we all found, after a year here, what happiness really is? And the answer is yes, no doubt. It is a function that we have to maximize, subject to certain constraints. Thank you very much.